Hi, I'm here with Lenny Silverman, the CEO of Lost Tribe Esports and Media. And Lenny and I have been talking for years now. And uh, Lenny, let's talk a little bit about what Lost Tribe is and how it does esports. So nice to meet you in person. <laughs> nice to meet you in person as well. Okay. Um, let me see. Where, where, where to begin? Look, we, we um, way back when, there was this big challenge in the Jewish community about the number of Jewish teens that are disengaged from the Jewish community. And throughout my entire career, which is now in the 44th year, um, I've always believed that the Lost Tribe are Jewish athletes, boys and girls that uh, they're not going to synagogue, they're not going to Jewish day school, they're not, most of them don't go to camp, and um, they're just Jewish, but they're athletic. And throughout my career, those of those kids that usually weren't engaged with whatever program. When I started out early in my career at the JCC in Pittsburgh, we were able to bring those kids in through sports. And then from the JCC, I went to Emma Coffin Camp, also tied with the Pittsburgh Business League. And we were able to bring kids into camping that would have never gone to camping, not just because of sports, but we made camping cool, fun, competitive, social, and then we added Jewish. Did the same thing with basketball, cool, fun, competitive, social, Jewish. I took over JCC Maccabi Games, same thing. So now, I'm talking to a friend of mine and he's talking about the challenges of the Jewish community and the team disengagement. And he said to me, well, if you can solve that, you know, you'll win a prize. I said, okay, give me a month. Sort of being a little cocky. <laughs> and um, little did I know, I didn't know anything about esports, but I literally fell upon esports a couple of weeks after that conversation. And I just realized that throughout my career, you needed to go to where the kids were at. If you didn't go to where the teens were at, you had no chance to be successful. And then if you didn't engage them in what they like to do, no chance of being successful. So here it is, I'm seeing a family member in Atlanta, okay, playing a game on the internet. I'm not a gamer, I didn't really understand. Playing a game on the internet, yelling and screaming at the TV. And when I asked him, why are you yelling and screaming at the TV? He said, well, I'm not yelling and screaming at the TV. I'm playing Eli. He had his headphones on. I said, seriously, it's just me and you down here. Who's Eli? <laughs> and he rolls his eyes because he was 13 at the time. And he said, well, Eli's my friend in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we're playing Madden over the Internet. I told him to repeat it. He repeated it. He had just come back from the JCC Maccabi Games in Dallas. This was 2015. And I was there, and I asked him a simple question. I said, Zivan, you play baseball. If you could play this game with those kids that you just met from around North America, he said, Lenny, that would be freaking awesome. Jeremy, without an ounce of exaggeration, I walked into my bedroom, which was next to the gaming room, and within 30 seconds, I had this global vision for something I knew nothing about. <laughs> but all I knew teens, Jewish teens, the internet, gaming, you put it all together, okay. And because I did it for Maccabi, when we went from 1,500 kids to 6,000, it's a little plug, <laughs> um, I said, okay, I got this. And the rest was history. So let, let's talk a little bit. I know that the e-gaming is, you know, I grew up playing video games, absolutely. I still play a little bit of video games, but I don't, I don't play against other people elsewhere. I play against the computer. So now let's talk about what I think is some of your secret sauce is that, as you said to me once, you're a delegator and you've got all these young people who really understand it working for you. So how do we get from e-gaming, which is uh, your, sort of your bread and butter, and, and, and uh, to what you're doing now a lot with more social media, TikTok, Instagram, etc. So the interesting thing is, is that when we began, you were right. It was all about esports and gaming and tournaments and competition. And very early on, we learned, okay, that not all kids are into esports, gaming, competition, winning and losing. And as humbly as I can say it, I've always just felt I was a coach throughout my career. If it was on the athletic field or the court, if it was in the boardroom or anything else.
also between what does a coach do? He or she builds winning teams. So I said, okay. And that's what I've been doing my whole career. So I said, I just got to build another team here. So the more, as we continue to grow and develop, and I started to bring in young talent, uh, it was pretty clear that they had different visions of engaging Jewish teens. What I wanted to do was build community. What I wanted to do, okay, was engage Jewish teenagers, okay, to begin to meet each other, blah, 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 with the long-term goal, how do we get these kids to Israel? That's my secret sauce, the DNA. But along the way, okay, we started to have more impact in social media. Well, now it's just not only social media, but now we need to have content creators, and we have influencers, and we do music, and we do art. Okay, these are where the kids are at, and this is what engages them. It's for boys, it's for girls. Now, esports is still a core component of what we want to do, because we believe that you know, kids will be competitive, and that we're going to be able to do that, not only in a North American basis, but on a global basis, of connecting, you know, Jewish kids together, again, meeting where they're, meeting them where they're at, okay, and then pivoting to do what they want to do, and leading them down the road. Ooh. So, where do people find you if they want to find you on social media or find you through e-gaming? How do they get involved? Well, I think the easiest thing to do, and we might have to cut this out of the segment, is Matt, turn around the camera. We'll get a picture okay. with Matt for no, sure. No, no, you answer the question. Okay. Matt, where do people find you? You can find us at lostribeesports.org. Uh, all of our social medias can be found on the website as well. We're Lost Tribe on Twitter, Lost Tribe Esports on Instagram, and um, we're everywhere. So you're going to be seeing a lot more of us. TikTok, yeah, we're Lost Tribe Esports on TikTok. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of us, so um, just be be where you are. We'll find you. That was Matt Shaw. I'm Jerry Fine, and this is Letty. And go check out Lost Tribe. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.